Welcome to the Art Ladies Home. Today I'm going to show you how I built this recycled concrete path and it's lined with some recycled bricks as well. Um, all of the materials you're seeing here I had originally in the center of my backyard around a brick pond and the pond had to be taken up, up um, in order to build this pool in my backyard. So during construction I had saved all of the materials so that I could create some type of a path uh, later on. So that's what I did today. I created this path and I'm gonna show you step by step how we did it. Now, previously when I had this around the pond, some of the pavers were sinking into the dirt and we had some grass growing in in between. So what I d decided to do this time was to layer um, it on a, on a bed of concrete first. And the easiest way I found to do this was to just take bags of concrete and this is the concrete, this is just a ba regular bag of concrete mix. It's not the pre-mixed kind that's already sanded. So what I did was I just placed the concrete on the, on the ground first and I'll show you in the video how we did this. The first thing we did was we laid down a bag of concrete and this was just a regular concrete. And then I took a rake and raked in uh, the existing dirt below with the concrete. And then we just carefully placed our stepping stones where we'd like them. And now we're just setting in the stones, the stepping stones, uh, the way we like, trying to have as little cracks in between as possible. And any areas that are odd shape, I'm going to end up filling in with some uh, concrete later on and then putting some blue glass beads into it so it'll look beautiful but this is the steps so far how we're laying the path and I'm mixing in some large stepping stones that I had large circular stepping stones that I had uh, just to break up the area and also I'm not sure if I'm gonna exactly have enough of the uh, molded concrete steppers this is all a recycle project, so I'm not spending any money on it. The only thing I'm purchasing was the two bags of the concrete. I just finished watering in the concrete, and this is one hour of work time. So that'll give you an idea of how long it takes for an hour. And I'm estimating that to be about 12 feet that we laid. So that wasn't too bad. That's including pulling up a little bit of weeds on the edge and leveling it out. So that's not too, too bad. And I like it. And you can see how I use the stepping stones just as a filler. And then I'm gonna cover the stepping stones actually with a layer of concrete later to smooth it out and maybe do some glass beads or something in there, something fancy. But I'm edging it with brick, and then I'm going to tie in both paths with some brickwork as well. Because I want to keep this brick path that's over here. It's just kind of buried a bit. I'm going to tie the two paths together with some brick, and it will be lined. Uh, the stepping stone area is going to be lined with brick. You can see how I started it over there. And then there'll be a little brick wall coming around the tree to meet the brick stepping path here. So hopefully it'll look good. Um, I don't want to continue all brick because of the cost. And I'm just using what's on hand at this point. Maybe eventually we'll do something else and tear up all paths, but for now, I'm just using what I have on hand. And this is again after one hour of work. So it's not too bad. I have about, we got about halfway done. And this is the path when we finished laying the stones. And we still have to put the brick edging in, but I just wanted to show you the progress. And we really like it. I mean, I think it came out really nice. It took about another hour and a half. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to add some mortar to the top of this. Just dry mortar mix, sprinkle it in, and then I'll water it into the stones. 
I don't want the mortar to fill up all the way to the top. I want to leave some crack areas, but the mortars will help secure the stones a little bit better. And then it'll allow me to be able to put in my glass beads. So that's the next step. And I'll make another video on how I do that. Um, it won't be in this one here. And here's the view from the street coming through the arbor right here. And like I said, we've got to put that brick in. I haven't dug it out. I've got to dig it in and have it even with the grass. Actually, I'm going to set it up a little bit higher than the grass. But that's it so far. And then there's going to be um, quartz. I got rose quartz, stone, gravel to fill in from the screen room to the edge of the path. Right there. And here is the path view. It's going to look so nice when the bricks are dug in and I get all the big equipment and barrels out of the way. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the progress so far on the path. And this is installing a path. And I use brick pa brick. Those are real bricks. Those are actual bricks, not brick pavers. And the concrete stepping stone paths. That's what I used. And that's the end of this first part video. Uh, stay tuned for the second one. I'm going to mortar in the cracks and then add my beautiful glass to it. And by then I'll have my brick dug in so it'll look uh, smashing. So if you haven't already subscribed, we would love for you to join our channel.